temporomandibular joint, tight synovial variety, condylar variety, articular ends proximally the articular fossa and the articular remnants of the temporal bone, the articular fossa and the articular eminence of the temporal bone. Distally, the head of the mandible the articular ends are usually lined by high in articular cartilage in synovial joints. But the articular ends of the temporal mandibular joint are lined by fibro cartilage. Hence, it is an atypical synovial joint. The articular surfaces are separated by an articular disc. So, the joint cavity of the temporal mandibular joint is divided into upper menisco-temporal compartment and lower okay, menisco-mandibular compartment. The articular disc is a fibrocartilaginous structure. The parts of the articular disc are anterior extension, anterior thick band, intermediate zone, posterior thick band, and posterior bilaminar zone. The articular disc is attached anteriorly to the capsule of the temporomandibular joint and the tendon of lateral pterygoid. Posteriorly, it splits into two bands, upper and lower. The upper lamina is attached to the spinal tympanic fissure. The lower lamina is attached to the posterior surface of the condyle. Ligaments. The ligaments of the temporomandibular joints are number one, fibrous capsule, number two, lateral ligament or temporomandibular ligament. It is the true and the main ligament of the temporomandibular joint. Number three, the spinomandibular ligament. Number four, the stylomandibular ligament. The spinomandibular ligament and stylomandibular ligaments are accessory ligaments. Capsule. It is a loose fibrous sac which encloses the joint cavity. Its inner surface is lined by synovial membrane. Attachments. Proximally, it is attached to the articular tubercle and the margins of the articular fossa and square tympanic fissure. Distally, it is attached to the neck of the mandible. Lateral ligament or the temporomandibular ligament. It is a thick and strongest ligament of the temporomandibular joint. It runs downwards and posteriorly. Attachments. Proximally, it is attached to the articular tubercle of the root of the zygoma. Distally, it is attached to the posterolateral aspect of the neck of the mandible. Spinomandibular ligament. It is the remnant of the unossified middle portion of sheath of metal's cartilage derived from first pharyngeal arch.
attachment. Proximally, it is attached to the spinal spinoid. Distally, it is attached to the lingula of the mandible and also to the margins of the mandibular foramen. Stylo mandibular ligament, it is the thickened portion of investing layer of deep cervical fascia. Proximally, it is attached to the styloid process of the temporal bone. Distally, it is attached to the angle of the mandible. Blood supply branches from the maxillary artery and superficial temporal artery supplies the temporal mandibular joint. Now supply articular branch from muscicric nerve and articulotemporal nerve supplies the temporal mandibular joint. Movements the movements of the temporal mandibular joints are depression. The muscles responsible for depression are lateral pterygoid, which is assisted by digastric, myelohyoid, and geniohyoid. Elevation. The muscles responsible for elevation are masseter, median pterygoid, and temporalis. Protraction. The protraction, the muscles responsible for protraction are medial and lateral pterygoid. Retraction, that is coming backwards. Okay. The retraction is caused by posterior fibers of temporalis. Side to side movement. The side to side movement are caused by medial and lateral pterygoid on each side. <coughs> Medial and lateral pterygoid of one side with that of the opposite side. Applied anatomy. Anterior dislocation of the mandible occurs in the temporal mandibular joint. It may be due to a severe blow on the side of the face. Yawning or taking a larger bite. So during this conditions, the head of the mandible is dislocated or it sticks out of the mandibular fossa and it is pulled forwards and it results in anterior dislocation of the head of the mandible.